Peach is gone. I am now ruler of this kingdom. Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I forgot about this over here. See this little raised tile? Yeah, I uh, probably, probably should have uh, done that. <laughs> I was a little concerned with Toadette. Wait, where'd the... Huh? Where's the next tile of the... Uh, I always forget the sequence. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's up top because there's a bunch of tiles around here and it can be anywhere. Yeah, that's part part of why I always forget the sequence, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get all those tiles down and flatten because these tiles they need to repair. We've got to repair them. Uh, <laughs> assuming I can find all the tiles that pop up. <laughs> all right, low camera, low cam, low camera for. Okay, it's up. <laughs> I just walk past it or something. I don't know. Uh, it's all—it's quite possible, depending on how the camera was or something like that. Oh, there. See, like that. If it's like directly above there, it's a lot harder to tell than it is if you're uh, at a lower angle and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on. How many tiles are there? <laughs> Actually, I think there's ten. I could be wrong though. Could be thinking of something else. There's a lot of collectibles in this game. Hmm. I just know that they never leave. That don't leave the castle until you're done with the tiles, because there will be nothing that'll pop out on the outer side. Ah, uh, really? Where's it? Come on. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Oh, I thought that was popping up in the cart, but I was gonna say I don't remember everyone ever being there. But no, it's just a little seal. Yeah, seven. <laughs> it just keeps going. Watch there be like 40 of them that I don't remember. No. <laughs> that would be horrendously tedious. Even more tedious than this. And I heard, a, I felt a rumble. Like over, or is it? Oh, of course. Oh, it's eight, not 10. Eh, close enough. Loose tile track down. All right, we repaired the castle. Everything is good to go. Now we can get over to even more tedious stuff. I said this is gonna be the part of tedium. Oh, I wasn't kidding. I <laughs> just have to be in the right mindset to be able to do it, basically. <laughs> so, just to get things started out, we're gonna do the sheep. He's like, my six sheep have run off, please bring them back to me! So there's six sheep all over the place. All over the place. Oh, I just realized I forgot some purples in the water. Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> That's okay. We can get those really quick. Just three. There we go. So there's really nine around this area. Not just six as I initially thought. But the first sheep that I'm gonna get is down... Well, not down. It's over and around here. Well, actually, I should, maybe I should start with the further sheep away. I don't know. It doesn't really much matter which sheep you get first, I suppose, but yeah, I'm just gonna go over to the one starting by this tree here. Well, trees here and the painting and stuff like that, so. Alright, sheep. And this is why it's really tedious. You cannot warp around. You cannot... <sighs> you gotta pick up the sheep. You just gotta get those sheep to the corral as quick as you can and some which way that you possibly can, and also don't knock them over the edge, otherwise you're gonna be mad. Because they're gonna respawn back where they started from, and it's gonna be nasty. Alright, that's one. Got anything else to say about... Nope, same dialogue, alright. <sighs> now, I do believe if you warp, the sheep will pop out of there. That's what I mean about that you can't really warp. So, oh, that might have been, well, that's, well, that's okay, I guess. I was going to say, I might have been overkilling my shot, but no, no, that's okay. We'll just get the sheep away from the tree, and heard that bad boy in there. All right, so I guess, I, oh yeah, a couple of purples off the cliff by the sheep corral. It's always hard to tell exactly when I'm the, uh, like, actually drop and grab off the ledge. That's why I'm just like, doot, 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 right at the very edge of it. <laughs> Otherwise, if you go at full speed, you just run off. 
Alright, another sheep I'm gonna grab is over at the woods. I do believe there is one somewhere over the Goombas. I thought. Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> Alright, you guys, you guys gotta stop chasing me here. As a matter of fact, I should probably just do that for now. There we go. Alright, this time I'm not gonna whack you with my hack because we're kind of close to the edge of doom here, so we just kind of roll it along down normally until we get up to here, and then we can start slapping it around a little bit. Oh, there's another sheep. Maybe. Oh! Oh, I, almost, I thought I almost got that in the well by mistake. Ah, uh, well. I could take both at the same time, I guess. <laughs> I suppose. Wouldn't hurt things. I mean, it's, it's not that they're difficult to get the move or anything like that, it's just you gotta kind of bring them together as one sheep. There we go. It's sort of like luring all the boos together. You know, the uh, the ghostly enemies and you know, uh, it's like all in one overlapping segment. <laughs> Squirrel turned into a coin, I think. But yeah, then the, the, then they're like as one. But I don't think I can do that with the sheep as I thought. But I can whack them forward happily and as quickly as possible. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh no 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 no! Oh jeez, I almost knocked that all off to the right side. Now it mean that would have meant starting from the beginning with that one. I think that was the one at Kumba Woods. So that would have been a lot worse. All right. There's this one again, and I think there's another one by the garden. Yeah, I know, I know. Very, very tedious. <laughs> Some of these moons, they could be very quick, they could take very long. <laughs> Those don't count towards my total, of course, they're already blacked out. Oh yeah, what do you have to say about the berries? This is Yoshi's favorite food! That's all I'm in the castle! I'll go wonder where he is now! I wonder. I wonder. Well, this is a garden. So wonder no more, at least about the sheep. Because <laughs> I think there was around one, like, around the back... Oh, I didn't come here for purples either? Uh, well, I, I I mean, I was there, obviously, but... But, I mean, I wasn't that far away from the... Uh, huh, well, okay. <laughs> Fine by me! Uh... Oh yeah, there's one by the garden. Well, not not quite as far by the garden as I thought, but it's it's far. <laughs> you can tell I just don't like these. I mean, when there's this many and they're so spaced apart. I mean, it'd be one thing if I just grab them and then warp around or something like that, like you, or maybe you just touch them and they'll automatically go over to the corral. But no, 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 no. That would be way too quick for this. No, 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 that's way too easy. <laughs> okay, this isn't necessarily hard. It's just very, very tedious. I wonder if I should have went... Oh, shoot! That was... Ah, I ruined it. I was going to say, I wonder if I should go around the other way, but... Well, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's very easy to just do that to the sheep as well, because... You see me almost not going into the abyss before, and then I flop that one into the water. Ah, dang water hazards getting in the way of my sheep. Or his sheep, I should say. <laughs> it may as well be my sheep, because I'm taking care of them, dang it. <laughs> Oops, hit that one a little bit offline. Although it's probably better off I hit it that way than off to the other side. See, when you hit hit onto the side of the sheep, the sheep will go in the exact opposite direction that you hit it with your hat. So that's why I'm always like, oh, no, 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 and I miss hit or something like that. Because it can be quite devastating. Down the floor, you go. And if it goes somewhere you don't want it to go, it could get stuck anyway, and you might have to reset it. It's just a disaster. And there's number five. Oh, oh, oh. You're just rimming around the edge like a golf ball, okay. <laughs> Last one, I don't remember where it was, but I'm sure it exists. <laughs> just take a look-see around. Oh, 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 oh. I guess as long as I'm here, 
Uh, there's a seed over by the flowery field here. Oh, there's the last sheep. It's over by that tower. Now that I grabbed the seed, gotta take that seed back over. Well, not back over. It's gonna be the first time it'll ever be planted, of course, but over to the pots. And it looks like these have sprouted. Well, I'll focus on the sheep before I do those. <laughs> but I'll be back there, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Oop. All right, sheep, sheep, we gotta go, we gotta go, we, we don't have time for this, get back to your corral, you're the last one, and I'm just trying to take you away from the fountain, because you might explode if you touch the fountain, okay, I don't know if I could just like chip shot the sheep over it or, but yeah, when they're, the shallow water is fine like this, but it's the stuff that, don't land in the tree, <laughs> but it's the stuff like, that you that you can't that the sheep can't swim in basically. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I forgot what the last seed was though offhand. I'll probably just find it as I go. I think I might be on top of the castle actually. You're welcome. All that work for one moon. <laughs> but yeah, speaking of getting on top of the castle. You might have noticed in your own explorations that there was a pile of rocks with a scarecrow on it. Well, actually, I don't want to see what's in here. Probably Goombas. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh, oh, you stinker. Or the last one. The last one. So yeah, you hit, you hit this. You get a time challenge. You don't get a star for getting up here on time, but this is the easiest way to get up to the castle. And, oh man, I sh should probably drain the moat, because this is about the time when I should be draining the moat, actually. Uh, by the way, Goombat is over there, and I remember what I was supposed to do, stacking Goombas after draining the moat, and then taking them into the moat, and then they're tall enough to say hi to her. Yeah. Oh, look at that, it's an egg. But wait first. Oh, I said, but wait first. This one is... Ugh. To help you get up to the top of this. I think this is for more purples. Uh, or maybe it's a star. Hmm. How did I get... Oh, the window. That's right. I was going to say, how did I get to the top of this? There's like a window staircase of sorts. I think there's something at the very tippy top. I think. Well, maybe not. You can see a, a hole in the Mushroom Kingdom. Well, I guess there is something. There's dialogue, but... <laughs> it's not exactly what I was going for. I thought there was like a... to be a star or something. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, anyway. I guess I should pop open that egg and see what's inside. Oh, it's Yoshi! It's the... Wait, I can't ride the Yoshi? I'm afraid not. But what you can do... Is B the Yoshi? Yes! So you can lick, you can flutter jump, you've got Yoshi's moves all over the place, except for the ground pump, because if you try to ground pump, you pop out of it. So yeah. But anyway, I do hear something uh, somewhere around here. Was it on top of. Oh, I can't go in the first person? Okay, yeah, it was. Is it saying I can't? Ooh! How do I get to that poop? Oh, 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 oh! Of course, that's what this scarecrow is for. I thought I just go around the wrong. <laughs> I went around the wrong, the wrong direction. I went completely around, like getting nothing. And then we go up, and then we long jump over to the star from the rooftop. Okay, so we go from here up to there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was close. <laughs> Perched on the castle roof. Voila. Now, all this fruit around here you can eat with Yoshi. Uh, but that... That, and you you could fill up its fruit eating gauge three times over. And you can get a moon for each time you fill it up. So that's another thing that I'd like to take care of here. So, let's go ahead eat some fruit. Lots and lots of fruit. And I do mean lots of fruit. Can Yoshi go in the water? No, he can't. I just wanted to be sure of that. I didn't think so. Oh, there's purples over here. Across from Goombet. Okay. Okay. Um, 
Anyway, I gotta go get, go get my Yoshi back so I can continue feeding him. So, back over to the Scarecrow. I literally was going around in the wrong direction, but I caught myself this time. I mean, I, I, mean, I did it again like I was doing it with the Scarecrow on the roof. Alright, Yoshi! I need your body! If you don't mind. <laughs> need, need to use my hat back too, thank you. Alright, so where should I start? collecting fruit. Probably like spiral out from the middle and go to the like individual sections of things. Because I don't want to miss a fruit for obvious reasons. So let's go ahead and just kind of, well I don't know, maybe I could just do it by section like section by section here. Wouldn't really hurt I don't think. And no, that, that's not deep enough to kill Yoshi if you were to fall and make Yoshi fall in there. No, don't worry about that. It's just stuff that you you swim in, basically. There's one. Woo! Gobbling fruit with Yoshi. And I think there's a couple over the edge somewhere. Yeah, there. I told you this is the tedium episode. <laughs> well, we've got to do it. We've got to do it eventually. We might as well not put it off any longer. Oh, wait. Did I get... Oh, one more here. Oh, there we go. Alright, I just want to make sure I've got all the fruit in the forest. Is it, I think most of the fruit is actually in the forest. So, I just want to kind of take a look see around. Oh yeah, yeah, Yoshi doesn't pull the... He flips on the pulse, but whoop, rather than uh, uh, just pulling him on the ground. See, there's, a, there's actually a difference, as you see, between Yoshi and Mario here. That's why I did... The, I mean, that, excuse me, that's why I'm doing the Yoshi segments second here. Because I figured I would do all the stuff with Mario first, and then I would go around and wander with Yoshi. So I thought that would be a nice little way to organize things, sorta, kinda, hopefully. <laughs> Not too sure, really, because the fruit sorta reminds me of the purple coins, and if the purple coins are uh, hard to find, like some fruit might be hard to find, well, well... There's another piece of Fruity Star. There we go, Yoshi's your second helping. And maybe, it's, maybe you fill it up four times and it's not... Uh, oh yeah, Yoshi can't climb trees either, by the way. Uh, okay, I got that. And there's another one I seen... Uh, you can't climb vines though, can you? No, of course you can't. Ooh! Oh! Yes! So hungry for fruits! Oh wait, was that all the fruit? Because I could have swore I seen two trees with fruit on top of it over here. Or maybe I just got them mixed up because of the leaves or something like that. I'll have to take a look, look see again at the other angle just to be sure. Because uh, I looked at it back from this way and... Okay, there was something. How do you get to that poop? <laughs> you can only do one flutter jump, by the way. So you can't just like keep going like in Yoshi's Island or something like that. You just you'd only do the one. Oh, there's two there. Okay, got them all. All right. At least I think I've got them all. I'll just keep going around and continuing my tedious quest for 100% completion. I think most of the fruit are actually like in like certain designated spots. I guess you could say. Oh, did I? Don't I want to flower all these? Uh, well, uh, I think I do want to flower all these. Okay, <laughs> I thought so. I remembered that when I seen it. Alright, grow a flower garden and don't lose your Yoshi here. Oh, do, do, do. I say, don't lose your Yoshi. I'm just kind of going from one place to the other and seeing how things roll. Almost full on the last gauge here. At least I hope it's the last gauge, because I don't remember where with where there is more fruit. Um, there is the piece of fruit, the big piece of fruit that we know of from the uh, uh, river way type place, but that leads to, well actually I should grab that anyway. I was going to say that leads to another bossy thing I think, or maybe it was the one down by the, uh... wait did you find something? Did you finally find something? <laughs> Maybe you're gonna find it on top of this tall hill because it's something special. But anyway, yeah, um, at the, in that river cave over there, there is a uh, big piece of fruit. You're useless. <laughs> 
So yeah, we gotta unplug those pipes by eating the fruit. And there's also another big fat piece of fruit underneath the garden. I mean, not, not the garden, the uh, moat. So there we go. That was a nice big meal there to unplug that. I'll go in the pipe later. I'm more focused on the fruit right now. And thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So now, see, it's it's over there. Now I gotta drain the water out here. I hope Yoshi doesn't, like, decide to dissolve himself because I'm gonna take too long here getting rid of the water, but we'll see. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have to get Goombas, too! And uh, just just keeps on going. <laughs> I think the, the last uh, purple coins are actually in one of those pipey bonus areas, if I recall correctly, so... It wasn't a tower, also, uh, I just forgot to mention this, it wasn't a tower that I was looking for for the last boss, it was actually a hidden pipe that was unplugged by Yoshi, so it was either this one underneath the castle moat over here, or it was the one uh, at the river entrance thing, and yes, this is another reference to Mario 64, where you got the um, drain the moat to access the cappy area. Yeah, yeah, let's just put it that way. I don't want to spoil too much, but... <laughs> but you drain the moat differently in this particular game. Oh, man! Yoshi does despawn, but don't worry, the, the fruit stays eaten, and his belly stays as filled as you've seen it before, so... We are still good in that regard. I just need to get to the right side that has a scarecrow to get back to the roof or do some fancy jumps to get back to the roof, but it's so much easier to use this than to do some fancy jumping. There we go. Ah, okay. Go, 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 Yoshi, go, go, go. And then for once I can drop directly into the moat because there's nothing to worry about. So yeah, you always got to get a Yoshi on the roof here, which is also another reference to Super Mario 64 for certain reasons. Oh, 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 oh! The last three purples, they weren't in a bonus area. They're down by the Dory Pond, all right! So that is now completed, so we could go ahead and buy all the stuff in the shop. Well, later, I'm still looking for fruit! Oh, by the way, um, there's this toad over here. Uh, can I talk to you? Or maybe not. I was gonna say, yeah, over here, behind the castle, there's this toad. He's like, you know what I miss? Your blocky polygonal look. Glad to let you in any time you're dressed like that. I know, you don't have to look. Show me the good old days and I'll lock the door. So, we don't have that look. We need a certain series of clothes. It'll make sense to you when the time is right. Okay, I remembered something. Remember this? We're actually gonna go in there. We're gonna do this. Because there's fruit in here. Yeah! Even though you lose Yoshi when you go in a pipe, you get another Yoshi in this particular one. I remember now, so... Here we go. Let's feed... Oh, maybe that's not the place, because this is another place to get fruit. Well... Well, we're getting fruit here anyway. <laughs> we're getting... Oh, man. Oh, man. You guys probably shouldn't be here. Seems a little little dangerous for Yoshis. It's okay. We can handle this. We have the power of the flutter jump. And with the power of the flutter jump, there is nothing that can stand in our way. Except for maybe a bottomless pit by misjumping. But details, we should be just fine. <laughs> uh, so that, I guess this maybe counts as getting the fruit, even though this is, I don't think it's the same Kind of. Yeah, and Yoshi can't wall kick, can he? Nah. I'd have to do like fancy, fancy smanshy moves with Mario, but I think there's another way up there. Anyway, I just want to go and get this stuff. Oh! Well, I started getting it. <laughs> I guess I'll go around the other way now. Because I can basically just flutter, flutter jump around freely. Oh, yeah, I do have to get up there. Alright, so we'll we'll figure that out eventually, I assure you. But anyway, so as I was saying, I'm gonna go around the other way. And thus that means this way, if you don't mind. Eat those. Take care of that. And Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. I tried to do too many things at once there. <laughs> Alright, try it again. Nice and quick. Nice and swift. 
hopefully without too much ire. <laughs> so it's like, I, I guess they don't even need to live in the ocean or something like that, because it sure seems like that they don't need the waterness for their gills or something like that, if you want to call it waterness. I don't know <laughs> what you'd call it for them. They can live outside the water. There's sky unagis or something. <laughs> Alright, so about this last one here. I mean, that, that last upward motion thingy getting up on top. It must have been some way to get up there with Yoshi, obviously. <laughs> um, let's see here. So I take a peek, see around. Oh, let's see if I can. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, how did I get up there before? Is there something like down? Okay, there is something down below. Oh, what is that then? If that, I thought that was a like a U-shaped platform behind there, but that was just clouds. Well, there's something there at least. <laughs> what? Maybe I. Oh, I must have jumped onto the shadow, and then there was a platform that took me up or something. Well, we'll see. <laughs> We'll get them all eventually, I assure you. Okay, so is it out here? Or not? Maybe I should try jumping down off on this side. No, that's all clouds. Oh, I just remembered. I just remembered how it's done. Uh-huh. You just go from one side to the other just by pressing the Y button. Ah. Uh, that makes sense now. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that Yoshi had that move. It's so... It's used so infrequently, I just completely forgot about it. Well, I guess you can technically call that uh, part of the fruit quests, even though it's kind of self-contained, but that wasn't the end of the fruit. <laughs> so I guess we're out of here, and we're gonna keep looking around. Oh! I found the last seed over here by Dory. It's underwater. Well, that's nice. So I guess I can go, go ahead and plant that. I was just just doing another lap to see if maybe there was fruit hanging on the walls or something like that. You know how they like to just float in midair at unexpected locations. But eh, eh, I'll take the seed, the last seed, and go plop it up over there. But yeah, I took a look around everywhere and. Oh, wait! I didn't... Oh, I forgot to look at that... Like, one of the underground paths. I think one of the underground paths had uh, berries in it. Hmm... 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 <laughs> so I guess I'll have to go and take a look-see at that. I think the underground path is like around that way or something, but... Anyway, let's get the last one planted and then I'll collect those in mass when they're all in bloom. Well, I thought I missed, but I didn't. Uh, on top of the castle, of course! The one place I haven't been looking. <laughs> well. Well. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I think I just went around the other way again. Anyway. So I guess I can just kind of combine this last one into one, because it's like, eh, eh, it's all in the same area. But yeah, how do I, actually, how do I reach those last bits of fruit? Is Yoshi's flutter jump strong enough? Probably. <laughs> there's gotta be some way to get a Yoshi up there, although I guess maybe there's always the powers of lick jumping, or however you want to call it, as we found out. Alright, so there it is. Can he get up here? Uh, uh, surely there must be some trick to this. <laughs> Maybe I go from here up to the posts. Because hmm. I don't think Yoshi can like lick himself up there, can he? Can he? Because oh, he can. Look at that! Alright, we're all filled up. Quite literally. <laughs> and that is done. Goodbye, Yoshi, for now. <laughs> Alright, so as I promised, I'm gonna, the last thing I'm going to do here, I think this part's already way too long as it is, though, but last, last thing I'm going to do here 
is make a Goomba stack since I drained the water out of the moat with the stakes and stuff like that and get it high enough to be able to say hello to to because it say Toadette but it's Goombat and that'll be the end of the part I've had enough tedium yeah the sheep reset if you go inside a door so don't if until you're finished with that you can it's okay if you leave the I mean you know like you're in the middle of fruit that's just fine Anything else? Like the sheep? No, no, you gotta do it all in one horrendous run. <laughs> Is this enough Goombas? It's probably enough Goombas. I don't think I don't think there's any Goombas left, so it's gotta be enough Goombas. It's kinda of, got some weird camera blur effect going on there. <laughs> it's like the Goombas have reached the stratosphere and the camera can't focus that far. Or something. Anyway. Goombat should be by the fruit or like somewhere okay there she is well she's gonna be she's in form over there yeah the little platform i think this is tall enough if it's not i'm gonna have to grab one more goomba and then stack the big one on the little one inside here but i think this is good yes yes the last tedious thing i'm gonna do this part in fact i don't even feel like going by out the shop right now we'll focus on that later when i do some more exploration Love at Key Peach's Castle is complete. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when things are a whole lot less tedious. Oh.